Beck Weathers. I work at Medical City Dallas Hospital, and I'm an anatomic pathologist. Basically, I read slides. We diagnose uh, anything which has a tissue manifestation, that's most diseases. It's very much a scientific skill, but it's one that gets to solve the puzzle. I had the misfortune of being on Everest in 1996 at what was at the time the deadliest day in the mountain's history. Caught in a terrible storm on the top of Everest, and we gradually began to freeze to death. And this is my death certificate. This is a fax that was received by my wife. It states basically that uh, I've died. It tells where I am on the mountain. Both of my hands had been destroyed. The right side was dead to above the wrist. My face had been pretty much destroyed since I spent 15 hours face down on the ice. I thought the movie was done as well as it could possibly be done to tell this story. The story is very complex, it has a lot of characters, and the commitment that they made, which was to make it as realistic as possible. And as you know these characters, whether you read about them or whether you see them on film, you start to care about them. And it's really painful to watch the story unfold and see what happens to them. Over months, we managed to rebuild a nose upside down on my forehead and then gradually got it to grow in the middle of my face. I had a reconstruction done by Greg Anigan on my left side, and I went back to work six weeks after they cut my hands off. Most everything is negotiable. If you think about it, uh, you can find a way to do it. I gave up some body parts, but I got back my relationship with my wife, with my kids. I was forced to reevaluate my life. I always lived in the future, and now I live in the present.